Hi, Shane from Shane Bar Shoe Repairs in Tauranga. We're going to take Bickles down the harbour to the shoe repair shop and take a look at some glues and how you might move from Bostick glues to Rainier glues. Got our trusty thermos and of course the footcom cups. And we're going to slide down the ramp to loft around the corner over there and head into Tauranga. Before we head far, I've noticed a couple of things that were glued up with Cintiq. These seats were glued two layers of EVA together with Cintiq and it was glued to the fiberglass with Cintiq. And also, my shoes. There's a rock ports that uh, wore out so quickly it wasn't funny. It's got 6mm pebble chip on the back and 4mm on the front and that's been glued all on to what was most likely EVA in the middle there with no primer and just straight coat of Cintiq on both surfaces and put together. It'll most likely come apart at these corners because it really is asking a bit much of it. Eh? And on the floor, toe protectors around the bolts, but those are put on with Fort Super Glue. Here comes my very helpful assistant with, don't worry that's not a baby, it's a doll. Hey. Bye home. Chill. How's Izzy the assistant? Bit bright, isn't it? Yeah. Captain Izzy, head back up to that Tajiri up there, huh? Izzy's still having your breakfast. <laughs> so we're just going to go and tie, and up, tie up in here and then we'll uh, walk into the shop. Come with us, Izzy. And we've finally arrived at the shop. This video is for people moving from Bostick to Rainier Glues here in New Zealand with the products and shoes that we commonly get to fix. I used 1222 and 999 for about 17 years, from about 98 to maybe 2015. I did try a few Rainier Glues over that time but I got frustrated and confused with the many options and issues that I had with getting things to stick reliably. I've moved from the Bostick 1222 to the Ortec, we call that yellow glue because it's yellow but it does dry clear, and moved from the 999 to the Cintiq Total. And main reasons I moved was that you know, these are meant to be healthier, no toluene and MEK etc. And these have got a quicker drying time they're just built for repairs, whereas the other glues are more built for manufacturing. It took me a while to decide on uh, Ortec and Syntec. I did try a bunch of other glues, and these are the ones that work best for us. We are currently trying um, CDC and 
let you know how that goes. With Ortec, we do all of our heels on wood, leather and hard plastics. And that works really well. We don't use any nails and we don't have any issues with them coming back. With back linings or heel linings, we put one coat onto there and just slide that in while it was wet. With a zip, the great thing about the Ortec is you can move it around a few times. So if we lined that up, pushed it together, that's you know nice and strong. So you can peel it off, line it up again, and it's nice and strong and ready for stitching. So it gives you quite a few times where you can peel it off and put it back on. Once it is set properly though, it will be really well stuck. And if you forgot to stitch one, it would be six months before they'd come back. We know that. Um, with elastics, same thing. Just glue, glue, let it tack while you do the other one. Let it tack for like a minute or something and then push it together and it'll be all good for stitching. With the Syntec, we do all of our TPR, TPU, PVC, and any other tricky things you come across. You do need to prime the TPR and TPU with the rigger hole, and then that glues up really well. With a tramping boot or a work boot or something like this build up, that's all been Syntec the whole way through, even on the EVA, and we didn't prime the EVA. And once that's trimmed off, another couple of layers actually. This guy's a farmer, so it really needs to be well put together. We'll grind that unit up and that'll be ground glued onto the bottom. With all of our half soles, they're all done with Syntec. Nice clear glue line there. We can't see the glue line, thankfully. So that works really well. And that's for all of our protection soles, half soles, leather half soles. Any half sole is uh, all with Syntec. We have tried the Ortec, but it just wasn't strong enough and had too many toes come undone. With unit soles, which we've got up here, those are all done with Syntec. The only one we've had trouble with is the power unit or the arch unit. If that's going to be used in a heavy duty environment, we found those did come off. So you need to be primed with EVA6 or you can prime it with CDC. I haven't tried priming it with Ortec, but I'm going to try that. So I hope that helps and um, good luck with the gluing. So in summary, if you're going to look at moving to the Rhenia glues from Bostic, I would suggest getting a tin of Ortec. Just get a one litre tin of Ortec and try it with your heels and your patching for a month. Then after that month, go ahead and get a litre of Syntec and try that with just your basic half soles and things until you get your head around that. If you've got any questions, feel free to Google Shoe Repairs Taronga. There's a contact form on our page. Send me an email, we'll make a time, we can talk on the phone or you can send some photos or send a video. Um, so thanks for your time and we are going to go and boat off home. So we're back, back to the transport home and we are going to just take a quick squiz out where we're meant to be heading. It's way up that end. But we're going to go for a quick squiz down to that next bridge, maybe to those ships down there before we go home. Because why wouldn't you? Check it out, a plastic Birkenstock. I think we need it, is he? Clean <laughs> out the front there is, we'll score it up. That is too funny. That is. Here we are out doing a shoe mission on the boat, and we find a floating shoe. Oh, yeah, don't go for a swim. Nice job. Well done, what size is it? Need any repairs? That's a bit treadless, isn't it?
Mount Monganui there. Over to the left is Matakana Island, and that's the entrance out between them. And we're just in, sitting in the shipping channel. That's Mount Monganui town over there. And that's the Mount Monganui side of the wharf and the port. One of the busiest ports, or the busiest port in New Zealand. That's all the logs over the far side, up to the oil terminals, and a plane taken off from the airport behind. And back up to where we came from in the city, over there. Where's that plane? Oh, it's hard to see. It's always good to have a plane in the picture, here in New Zealand. Right, we will take a little bit more journey and see if we can't find some uh, the matching and see if we can't find the matching uh, Birkenkrock. <laughs> see you all. and things but they're not much doing. That's the city back down that way and we're headed up into the estuary. We pulled out a video of something like a fish, isn't it? Yeah. I need to save one. Oh, look, there was. There's one. There's one. Check it out. Hey! Good trip, is he? Yes. Good seeing the fish? Yes. That was cool, wasn't it? Let's see if we can't just attack this jetty. Not attack it. Somewhere there. Anyway, right, we'll grab that is. Thanks for coming on the journey, guys. We're going to go home, wash everything up, and uh, enjoy some yacht racing. <laughs>